Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Hydrogen at Home. Um, I've got a couple of things to show you today, just a short video today. But um, before I get on to that, I just wanted to say um, that I hope you all don't mind my new intro. Um, due to all this recent video theft and piracy, I've kind of had my hand forced a little bit to create something like that and my new uh, watermark, watermark across the bottom of the page. Um, I myself have had at least three videos taken and um, put onto different users sites and renamed and been used to advertise uh, to sell crap hydrogen stuff um, uh, you know through links to websites and stuff uh, for the record I don't endorse any of these products uh, I'm a completely independent uh, person doing this uh, as a hobby so uh, if you see anything for sale it's, and, and, and any of my videos have been used to advertise that, um, it's not true. Um, you'll know if anything like that happens because I'll talk about it on my videos. So um, yeah, I hope that clears that up and uh, we can move on and these guys can get taken off the air as quickly as possible. In the meantime, um, I'll get onto this. Uh, this right now is set up, I've got 12 plates set up in this. And um, I'll show you this diagram in a second, talk you through it. But first things first, flick it on, and get it going. Right now it's set up 13.8 uh, volts, and uh, it's a bit over 5 amps, that'll creep up. And I'm just going to turn this into macro so that I can show you a bit close up. Okay, so as I said, it's sitting on a, just a bit over 5 amps. Um, I tested this a, sh a short while ago uh, on 8 amps, and it was putting out about 500 milliliters a minute, uh, which was giving me an MMW of around about 4.5. Um, that was pretty consistent throughout the tests, uh, low amperage and up to sort of around about 8 amps. And this is the circuit diagram for this. Um, it is working in a similar fashion to with neutral plates whereby uh, each of these main gaps here is dropping the voltage down so I am getting 2.2-2.3 um, volts between these main gaps here. Uh, basically the negative is coming into this plate, these top ends aren't connected to anything. Jumping across, creating hydrogen with a 2.3 volt between that gap, then these two are directly linked together with a cable. So there's no hydrogen as such been generated between this gap here. Um, there is a slight bit of voltage in there, maybe 0 0.03 of a volt. Um, so I might be losing a little bit of efficiency because of that. Uh, and then it just repeats across, uh, as you can see. So I'm getting a total of six actual gaps, dropping my voltage down so I can run this at 13.8 um, volts. In this kind of setup, normally you would actually have, between these two plates here and here, you would have an actual gap, um, or they would be in isolated containers, so that um, you'd get no transfer of um, current voltage or anything of that sort between these two plates, um, completely isolating them. Uh, it is possible to do that in this situation, and I'll probably try that down the track, but for now I just wanted to try like this just to see what would happen. And that's what's happening. I'm getting, yeah, about 4.5 mmW. So, um, yeah. Been there, done that, and um, I guess I'll move on and try some other things. One thing, interesting thing, it is worth mentioning. When I first did this test, um, my voltmeter here was hooked up as it is now, and I noticed when I turned it on, the volts were going up, up and up and up and up, and just kept going up. They went all the way up to like 19 volts before I decided to turn it off because I was getting a bit freaked out, and I didn't know what was going on, and then I'm. Uh, um, I thought, oh, okay, battery might be going dead, maybe there's something going on because there was a little battery icon on here going off. And so I changed the battery and it seems to be fine now. So if you're having some weird stuff going on, um, check your batteries of your voltmeter. Um, that could be a problem. So yeah, nothing much interesting else to go on about that. So um, I'm going to rewire this to another configuration and try that out. Okay, I've rewired this now. Um, as you can see, there's cables going everywhere. I had to redo this a couple of times so, so that there wasn't any short circuits. And um, right now it's sitting on about 4 amps and it's at uh, 6.9 volts. 
and it's just sort of chugging along. Right now, it's it's got an MMW of about um, 4.4 was its best, and this is how it's wired up. Obviously, positive is coming in here, and it can split off into two different directions. Then um, it basically repeats a pattern through. You can you can have a look at it and figure it out where the um, the power goes. It's basically dividing um, the voltage up by three. Uh, that's why I've got it set to uh, 6.9 volts. Uh, I've gone through and tested this with the multimeter between each plate, and it's not very consistent. Um, I know it's not all all the plates' fault because it was a lot more consistent in its neutral plate configuration. So I'm I'm betting it's the cables. They're not all the same length, and um, as you can see, a couple of them have got joiners in them and stuff. And uh, uh, the the connection on the plate itself, where the cable goes on, probably has to do with um, how consistent that is as well. So uh, not a perfect test, but it's still something to try out. And um, you know, 4.4 isn't amazing but it's not completely terrible so yeah something to try out and um yeah that's me for now i'll uh, see you all soon